You can now build voice-to-voice -voice translation into your app using BuildShip. Let's build it together step-by-step. -step. We have some templates for this. We have voice transcription, which takes in an audio file and outputs text. Voice-to-voice -voice translation, which we'll build today, which takes in an audio file in any language and can output it in any other language. And we have Meditate GPT, which generates a meditation for you based on your inputs. In this video, we will build a voice-to-voice -voice translation workflow from scratch. The first thing we'll do is add our input, and this is going to be a file. We will call it voice file. And we'll add another input string and just put this as language. The first thing we want to do is use the OpenAI Whisper API by adding in the Whisper speech to text node. This node takes in the file. Let's select the file. It can either be a specific file from your computer by uploading it from your device and selecting it, or you can use as input the voice file from the inputs. You can also get there by hitting input and selecting voice file here. We want the response format to be a verbose JSON, and let's do the timestamps by segment. We can go ahead and test out the workflow where they test file. So you can upload any file from your device. Let's just use this voice test that I have. Now, before you hit test, you are going to have to update your OpenAI API key. To do that, hit add key, navigate to this link here, create a secret key and paste it in here. And now we're ready to test. So we get the transcription and then we also get timestamps for every segment. In this case, because we're doing it by segment, it's a short file, so we only have one segment from zero to seven, how our team is doing. Now that we have the transcribed text, we want to translate the text. For that, let's use the OpenAI text generator. And for the instructions, please translate the provided text into, and we can type language here, hit enter, and it was going to use the language from the input. For the prompt, let's look in variables whisper speech to text, and let's get the transcription. Now we can test the whole workflow and make sure it's working out. For the voice file, let's just select the same one, and let's translate this into German. So now we have the translated output, wie geht es unseren Tomaten? The next step for us is to create a text-to-speech. So we can select the OpenAI text-to-speech node, we have a bunch of other options if you want to use a different model. And for the input text, let's select the output of the text generator. Now, once again, we can test the whole workflow. And we get this long string back from the text-to-speech generator. We need to do something with that because we don't want to work with a long string. We want the actual voice file. To do that, we will upload a base64 file using the BuildShip file storage upload base64 file. And the file we will put here as the output of text-to-speech, that long string. And for the file name, we can select JavaScript and write date.now plus mp3. That'll save the file as today's date. For the output, let's select a custom output. We will take the original transcription for the second one we will take the translated text and for the third one we will get the uploaded base64 file file url and call that the translated audio and now let's test out the whole flow So as the output, we have the transcribed text, the translated text, and the translated audio. This is a link. So if we copy that and put it in a browser, we can play the audio. Geht es unseren Tomaten? Perfect. So you can customize anything you want in this workflow. Um, you can do things like in the text-to-speech, change the voice. 
or the speed of the output. But what we're going to do now is add our trigger. For our trigger, we want to use REST API file upload. All we need to do here is hit connect. And we can ship the workflow. Now we have to map our inputs. So we will select trigger data and just select the file object. And for this, we will select trigger data body dot language. Now we can ship the changes to our workflow. So we'll head over to bolt.new and let's create an app. So first I'll describe what we want to build. And we'll come back to build chip and go to the usage tab and copy this JavaScript code, which describes how to use the API to bolt.new. So we said, build us an interface for voice to voice translation, where you can upload an audio file as file and type in the language you want it to translate into as body.language. Then receive back the transcribed text, translated text, and translated audio in the body of the output. Use the following API to do the voice to voice translation and receive the output as specified. And here we will paste in the code for how to use the API. And let's see how it does. So now it's ready. Let's upload a file from our computer. I've uploaded the same file that we tested with, and we will select Spanish as our target language. So it doesn't look like it worked. Let's go back to build chip and see what's up. Let's go to the build tab and come down here to click on logs. You can expand the logs if you want. So it looks like we have a success here. And in the output, we got the translated text, the translated audio and the transcribed text. Let's copy that output here because it looks like build chip is working, but the bolt app doesn't know how to use it correctly. And we can paste in this spec. It's saying is doing it right. Let's say And now let's try again. This time let's go to Chinese. So again, we can look at the build chip logs and it seems like we did get the correct translation. So we can go back to bolt.new and troubleshoot. Let's see. It's added some debugging. Let's go to Japanese this time. And now at least it is identifying the error. Let's see what went wrong. And in build chip, we're looking good. One more time. Let's translate to pirate. So we have a success here again. And we will try it one more time. As if a dog was saying. How are those red round things doing? Woof. Okay, close enough. Now we'll try again with a uh, language. Let's go with Hindi. And it is working for us. Fantastic. So now we've gone through the debugging process to make sure that the API is used well in bolt.new. So this was a lot of steps, 
And it's something that we are actually working on. So expect soon the ability to go to the usage tab and get something that you can very quickly copy for an AI to be able to um, quickly implement this without you having to do so much debugging. Congratulations, together we've built a voice-to-voice -voice translation app from scratch. We're looking forward to seeing what you do with it and looking forward to the next video. See you soon.